All right, today I'll be doing a review of my friend's Rain Vendetta. Um, it is 40 inches long, it's got a wheelbase of 30 inches, and it's 10 inches wide. All right, so uh, this board is uh, Rain's kind of signature construction, which is bamboo plies and uh, fiberglass on top. So it's very strong, really lightweight, and really, just really durable. Um, he is fashioning this board really hard, uh, and it's held up quite well. The graphics pretty scratched, as you can see. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about his set right now. He's got some bare trucks dropped through because this is a drop through board. Uh, Cult classics and really bad super reds. Um, he's not a huge fan of the Cult classics because um, uh, they just slide differently than most other wheels. I find. I review for them. I like them, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about this board. It's got micro kick tails, I think. So they're pretty small. They're usable for freestyle. Um, this board isn't really a freestyle deck. It's kind of like an all-around do-everything kind of board. He's going pretty fast on this board, maybe about 60 mile kilometers an hour, I think. 60 kilometers an hour? Yeah, probably. He's going pretty fast on this board. It's got a little bit of flex, but since he's pretty light, uh, it doesn't flex that much. Um, as I said, it's drop through, and it's um, two ply bamboo, whereas other boards are more or less uh, than this. This is, I think, this uh, this and the rival have about the similar flex. Um, features of this board: it has sharp rails, right? You can see here, but uh, he's flipped it a lot, so the rails kind of dulled out. Um, it also has some taper in the middle, as you can see. Uh, and that just means it's, it kind of tapers in and makes a bit more torsional flex, which makes it fun for carving. Um, it's got some nice deep concave. Um, it's really aggressive, locks feeding really well. Um, yeah, it's surprisingly wide just because it really is 10 inches right where your feet go. And that's really nice for free riding. Um, the thing, in my opinion, I don't like about this board is how big the cutouts are. And that's fun, because you can run huge wheels, uh, low, or lower trucks and all that stuff, and that's, some people really like that. But they don't leave much foot platform. As you can see here, the platform is pretty small. And that just really limits your kind of sliding possibilities for when you're doing stand slides or checks, stuff like that. I like a longer platform for that, and get my feet over the truck. Um, but then again, this board isn't really uh, free ride is a specific board. As I said, it's all on board with uh, a bit of flex, a bit of everything. It's a really great board for kind of just doing anything you want, getting in the city, um, some freestyle, some free ride, some downhill. If you want to do something, if you want one board that can do everything, this is what I recommend for you. Um, it's super durable, it's great size, you can just carry around with you. Um, so, uh, yeah.